Hey, welcome to Mecha Cheeky. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be going over how to submit your comp through Render Garden. So to start off, I have my comp here that I actually want to submit. I currently submitted this actually recently, uh, as you can see here, and it took about 4 minutes and 40 seconds to render through the After Effects renderer. So what I want to do is actually try and cut that time in half. And the main reason why it took so long is because I know during this segment in the video, there's a bunch going on right here where there we have like these terminal windows running. And then if we go even further ahead, we get even more computers in there. And even further ahead, we get even more as well. So it's actually a little bit more. Let's see. It actually is barely loading. So what we want to do is actually split up this comp into multiple segments. That way it renders over the course of, say, four procs. That way it helps with the load of the render. So to start things off, we actually want to take this comp and send it to the render queue. So we're going to just do Command M, or if you're inside here, you can go Composition, Add to Render Queue. And you want to set your codec settings. So by default, I have QuickTime ProRes 422HQ. And then you want to set where you want to actually render this out to. Let's change the file name on this. We'll say this RG8, because we're actually going to break this out into eight different segments and send it out over four procs. So we're going to hit save. And let's go ahead and go inside the Render Garden UI. And we're going to change our seeds to eight. And what they'll do is they'll split up the comp into eight different segments, or eight equal segments, I should say. And then we're going to set a priority. So in our case, we're going to set it to five just to show you exactly what the priority setting does inside the seed bank. And then we're going to set a post render action. So we're going to go configure and set it to MP4. That way I could have a smaller file size MP4 that I could easily view and send off to clients. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And now I'm going to go ahead and hit plant the seeds. So you'll get this dialog window open, and here you can see it says seeds created for one item. So in this case, it was this one item, uh, which is in my render queue. And if I go to Finder and go to my seed bank, you'll see that I'll have a project folder in here created that has the priority number, which we set over here to 5. And then it's my project name, Render Garden Promo V001. If I dive one level deeper, you'll see I'll have my render queue item, which in this case it was 02 because it was the second in line in the render queue. If you have multiple comps that you want to render out, you can be able to order them inside the render queue, and whatever is at the top, that will get rendered first through Gardner. So next we'll go down a level deeper. You'll see all of our render garden files and folders. So starting from the top, we have our output directory. So if you double click on this, it'll take you to the actual directory where we're going to be rendering to. And then if we go back, you'll see we'll have our script section. These are all of the applets, or if you're on Windows, they'll be .bat files, that you can manually run yourself in case Gardner isn't working or if something's wonky or if you just want to requeue something yourself. So you could always just double click and manually run these. Now inside segments, this is where RenderGarden will render all of your seeds. So when we finish our render, we should see eight MOVs inside here. And then Gardner, using FFmpeg, will take all eight of those files and put them together into one lossless MOV. Next, we have the source directory where we see our project file, RenderGarden Promo V001. Now, this is the project file that Gardner actually uses when it's rendering all the different seeds. So if you ever need to modify something or change something and then you want to requeue, you can always open up this project file, edit it, and save it, making sure that your render queue item is still checked. So we're going to collapse that. And below here, we have all of our Gardner files. So if I stretch this out, you'll see that we have our combined script, which will only run if the other seeds are all set to complete. So as Gardner starts up and starts reading through your seed bank, it'll find these files saying that they're ready, and then it'll automatically change them to rendering when it picks up that certain seed and starts rendering it. And when it's finished, it'll change the name from rendering to complete. So now that we've gone through that, I'm just going to go back to After Effects, and then I'm going to set up to say I want to run four render procs. So I'm going to say four, and I'm just going to uncheck Reveal Seed Bank and Finder. If you have this checked, what it'll do is it'll open up that same directory that we were just looking at. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And we're going to bring open all four of our windows. So as you can see, all four have already picked up a seed. So if we go back to our finder window, you'll see four of them already picked up as seed one, two, three, and four. 
And before it starts rendering, I'm going to go ahead and click on my stopwatch. So that way we could be able to monitor the progress and see if it actually renders faster than the AE render. So let's bring our terminal windows forward and see them render. So as you can see, we already have two gardeners finished. And if we go into our finder window, we'll see that they automatically got switched to complete. And then you can see the seeds automatically getting picked up. So let's just go back. Now that these two gardener windows are completed, instead of closing down, they'll actually sit there and wait for any new render garden files. So in this case, currently they're waiting for either all of these seeds to complete so that way they could pick up one of these ready commands, or they're waiting for a new project that got submitted. All right, so we have all four of the videos done. And currently in this window, we have the combined script running. So as you can see, rendering combine, and it's complete. So we'll go ahead and hit stop. And in this window, we have the MP4 currently going, which is rendering. And we could actually go to our output section and take a look for our video. So here you can see we have the RG8 file, which if we open up, is our full render. And then we have an H.264 file that got rendered out as well. So this file finished in 3 minutes and 13 seconds compared to the 4 minutes and 40 seconds that After Effects took. So not only was I able to render it faster, I was also able to render it in the background and I was able to actually continue working inside of After Effects if I chose to as well. And you can increase your render speeds even more by setting up RenderGarden on multiple render nodes, which I'll show you in our next tutorial.